Welcome back once again. In the last tutorial, we learned how to define a miscellaneous protection zone. So, let's go ahead and double click on this logical breaker. A window shows up, and here we can see a transformer protection zone, and a miscellaneous zone for the low voltage side. We will also see, a transformer and miscellaneous protection zones, located at the high voltage logical breaker. During this tutorial, we will learn how to mount the CTs, on the equipment we wish to protect. The Excel sheet on the right, displays the CT relations that I need to place for the transformer and feeder. On the high voltage side of the transformer, I will place a set of three, 600 to 5 CTs, while on the transformer neutral, we will place a single 900 to 5 CT, while on the feeder, we will place a 400 to 5 CT. So let's begin, by starting in the one line module placing the feeder CT. Go to the menu bar, and select the CT icon as shown. Click on it and drag the CT symbol onto the feeder logical breaker. A CT data window query appears. Proceed to introduce the CT feeder name. Since this is a 3 CT set that is connected in a Y configuration, we proceed to designate it with its relation as shown here. On the CT ratio field, introduce 80, which is equal to the 400 to 5 ratio. Now, select the on terminal function. This is because it's a set of three CTs that are mounted at the terminals of the feeder. So now go ahead, and double click on the logical breaker. We can now see, that the feeder CT has been mounted. Now we will proceed to place the CTs, at the transformer's low voltage side terminals. The relation of these CTs is of 1000 to 5. Choose and drag the CT icon, onto the transformer logical breaker. Name it, and specify its designation as shown. In the CT ratio field, insert 200, which is equal to the ratio of 1000 to 5. On the CT terminal field, select on terminal. So now, we need to go and mount the CTs, on the high voltages side of the transformer. Select the CT icon from the menu bar, and drag it onto the high voltage side logical breaker. Proceed to name the CT, and its designation as shown. Put 120 into the CT ratio field, which is equal to the 600 to 5 ratio. Also, in the CT function field, select, on terminal. The easiest way to mount a neutral CT, is the following. Select the CT icon from the menu bar, and drag it onto the logical breaker of the low voltage side. This is because, we know that the transformer's low voltage winding is in the Y grounded connection. Now proceed to name it CTN, in order to highlight that it is a neutral CT. In CT designation, put in a fitting description, as shown.
In the CT ratio field, put 180, which corresponds to the 900 to 5 ratio. In CT function, choose neutral, because it is a single CT mounted at the neutral of the Y grounded winding. Upon final inspection of the CTs that have been mounted, we verify that they are mounted according to the Excel sheet on the right. This concludes our tutorial presentation.